Y'all, I haven't got my microphone yet, and I'm still outside, so. I keep trying to tell these, these dogs around here, you be sweet. They don't listen to me. Hey, y'all, it's Lou again. I wanted to do a video for you about anxiety. I wanted to share with you some ways that I deal with an anxiety attack other than medicinally. Um, I try to take as little medication as I can for some things I have to take, some things I choose not to take because I just, I don't, I don't like taking chemicals. I've learned a few techniques and I kind of wanted to share them with you. Um, I don't know, maybe some things you haven't heard of, I can teach you and hopefully it'll help get you through. So stay tuned and let's talk about this. Look, you're supposed to be sweet. First of all, what I wanted to reassure you of is you are not crazy, okay? You're, you haven't lost your mind, you know, you haven't flipped your gourd, you know, whatever you want to call it. We all deal with a lot of traumatic things, especially in this day and time with all of the issues going around between COVID and you know, job losses and just all of the craziness in the world. Yeah, we all get a little panicked sometimes. Doesn't mean that something's wrong with you. Just means that you're trying to handle it and your body is reacting to that. So what I wanted to talk about is there, you have what is called a vagus nerve. Um, and it, you know, it runs from your brain to your central nervous system. What you might want to think about trying is to try to stimulate that vagus nerve. And I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how to do that. When you feel an anxiety attack coming on, okay, this is what I do. First thing I try to do is ground myself, okay? If I'm at home, what I will do is I will like take off my shoes. I will put my feet on the ground, steady myself, whether I'm in a chair or if I'm standing up. I will put my feet firmly on the ground, feel the ground, take off your shoes let your foot touch the ground and feel that, okay? Because that is what is steadying you. Then once I feel comfortable, I will, of course, and they always tell you this, start your breathing. Breathing truly does help. What I do, if I'm just all over the place and I literally cannot sit still while I'm doing this, I will take my hand. I will start from down here. As I'm going up, you count to five while you are breathing in slowly. So one, two, three, four, five. Once I get to the top, I will hold my breath for about two seconds. Then you start coming down. One, two, three, four, five. So you're... And if you follow your finger while you are doing this, okay, you are focusing on this action instead of focusing on the inner craziness that's going on. 
So this gives you a focus, okay? But it also gives you the breathing. What you are doing there is you are slowing your heart down. The more you breathe in, deep cleansing breath, then letting it out. So basically what you're doing is you're needing that help. Oh, I'm gonna let some of this go. So you're, you're grounding yourself, you're slowing your heart rate down. For me, on acute attacks that are just really, really crazy, I will also go up to Philip, have him hold me, and I will start breathing with him. I will try to match my breath to his. And until I get to that point, I feel him. I can focus on what I'm feeling, feeling safe, feeling protected. As I'm going through the acute part of it, if I can feel him, I know I'm okay. So if you have a friend or a partner, brother, you know, it doesn't, anybody that loves you and you love that you know that you can depend on if you need them at that point, go to them and say, can you help me here? And if you start breathing with them, focusing on that, that's gonna help you get through it too. So take a minute ground yourself and think, okay, I can get through this. Okay, and you can, you can. A few little tips, I really hope they help. Um, another thing that I've heard, I have not tried it yet because I'm not this brave, y'all. And look, after all of the makeup and, you know, it's doing this, it's just, it's gonna end anyway. Stick your face in an ice water bath. That's what they say. I hadn't done it yet, though. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe at this point, anything will help. You know, another soapbox. We've talked about this before. So, anyway, I really hope this helps. If you've got some ideas, I would love to hear them. Because, y'all, these anxiety attacks, man, they can really, really get you. And I'm all open. I'm all up for getting some tips and stuff. So please leave some comments below. Let me know if this helped you. If, if there's something that, you know, maybe I suggested that really might help for you. Maybe you're willing to try it, you know, and, and then I would love to know the results of that too. So thank you for coming back to see me. I'm getting, so I really like this because, you know, I want, I, I love y'all. I want to help. So, yeah. Like, share, and subscribe, please, if you want to keep seeing stuff like this. Yeah. And take care. Remember that it's going to be okay. All right? It's going to be okay. You know, think about your blessings. Okay? Get some of that negative stuff out of there. <laughs> Take care and be sweet and make somebody's day, you know, go up to them and say, you know what? You are awesome. I don't know. It makes me feel good and I hope it makes them feel good. So, oh, and I'm rocking my juva bun. <laughs> anyway, y'all take care. Love you. Be sweet. And I will see you next time. Mwah.